The Los Angeles River is a combination of the results of natural history and interaction with human beings. The river is regarded as an icon of LA's sprawling hyper-urbanization. To some, it's nothing more than a part of the landscape that splits the concrete jungle in two. To others, it's an eyesore, a resplendent piece of nature stunted in a tomb of steel and cement. Historical records indicate that a total of 17 floods occurred between 1815 and 1938, resulting in damage to property and infrastructure and loss of life. This led to calls for the river to be tamed, especially in light of an influx of population to the area. Decisions were made by the leaders of the time to channelize the river to allow people to live safely within its floodplain. When the channel was first designed and built, the best way to move water through the city was along a concrete channel. It moved the water swiftly and kept the city as safe as possible from the effects of flooding. In this primary mission, the LA River Flood Control Channel has succeeded admirably. However, as a river, some work remains. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has been working together with city, county, and state governments, along with non-governmental organizations, to restore the ecosystem along portions of the L.A. River from Griffith Park to downtown Los Angeles. Angelinos could soon see restored habitat connections and ecological functions while preserving the flood protection that is provided by the existing channel system. The Los Angeles River originates in the surrounding mountains, flows across a wide coastal floodplain to the Pacific Ocean. The upper terminus of the project is adjacent to the city of Burbank on the left side and the Santa Monica Mountains National Recreation Area on the right. In this reach, the river is a concrete-lined vertical wall channel. There are open space areas on either side of the river which provide opportunities for connectivity to existing habitat. Traveling east and downstream, the Los Angeles River runs parallel to State Route 134. Residential and commercial developments flank its left side. The river converges with the Burbank Western Channel at Betty Davis Park. Here, the river changes from vertical walls to a trapezoidal channel with soft bottom invert and concrete side slopes. In the soft bottom reaches of the river, there is extensive existing vegetation of limited habitat quality. After crossing under the Interstate 5 freeway, the city of Glendale adjoins the river on the left bank. The river transitions back to a hard concrete invert through its turn. A large open space called Ferraro Fields is on the right side of the river. On the left is the confluence with the Verdugo Wash, which originates in the San Gabriel Mountains and provides connectivity to the Verdugo Mountains and the San Gabriel Mountains National Monument. After the turn, the river continues under State Route 134 and transitions back to a soft bottom trapezoidal channel. The river is soft bottom for the next five miles. It is constrained by Interstate 5 freeway on the right and a mixture of commercial and industrial neighborhoods on the left. There are numerous other constraints such as road or pedestrian bridges, concrete side drain structures, utilities under and over crossings. The mountains and the river come very close together in this reach, but are separated by the freeway. Downstream of the Los Feliz Boulevard Bridge is also a soft bottom trapezoidal channel. It is still largely constrained by the freeway on the right bank. Due to the soft bottom channel and high groundwater levels, there is a mix of riparian, wetland, and open water within this reach. The river passes under State Route 2 and follows an S-turn. The neighborhoods on the right bank are residential and there is a large open space on the left bank. A portion of the open space is owned by California State Parks and is referred to as the Bowtie Parcel. The adjacent open space area is called Taylor Yard, which has been acquired by the city. Together, these areas create a 1.5 mile long site and restoration opportunity. At the confluence with the Arroyo Seco, the invert has changed from soft bottom to concrete lined. In this area, the Arroyo Seco is a concrete-lined trapezoidal channel, but is soft bottom a little further upstream. Across the river are the Elysian Hills, which are part of the Santa Monica mountain range. In the distance is downtown Los Angeles. From here to the ocean, the Los Angeles River remains concrete-lined. It is also highly constrained by bridges, railroads, utilities, and urban development. Adjacent to the river and the Elysian Hills is the Los Angeles State Historic Park. 
At this point, we're very near the area where Los Angeles was founded in 1781, and an irrigation ditch was built to supply river water to the original Pueblo. The downstream terminus of the project area is near the Los Angeles Trailer and Containers Facility. There are few large sites adjacent to the river. The LATC is the largest adjacent site with approximately 100 acres of restoration opportunity. The surrounding area is primarily commercial, industrial, and municipal developments. The Corps of Engineers um, got involved with river restoration with the City of Los Angeles almost 20 years ago following a Bureau of Reclamation study about the potential for restoration. And we initiated with the Corps a project to look at 11 miles that is kind of in the heart of the city which was the ecosystem restoration study with a focus on bringing habitat value back to the river. It pains me when people don't get to experience nature, when they're working so hard and this investment is in them and uh, they deserve it. You know, there's many of them who are working two jobs and they need to be able to step out the front door and go with their families and experience nature. We are very excited to partner with the City of Los Angeles to bring critical habitat and green spaces and connect our communities with the river system. Mm -hmm.